outside the joint at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Fight fans have swung their way here to Las Vegas, Nevada. This is a good way to start the night off. Justin Gaethje taking on Brian Cobb. Three rounds scheduled in the lightweight division. And for the bandit, Brian Cobb out of Bakersfield, California. He says that his experience will be the key tonight inside the cage. Justin's had eight pro fights, and I think, you know, four or five amateur fights, and I've had 30 pro fights, so uh, I'm hoping to use the experience that, that I have to, you know, stay out of his wheelhouse, stay out of, stay out of his range, uh, make him work really hard to land, uh, frustrate him with, with the striking game, and I think I'm one of the better wrestlers he's actually ever wrestled. The bandit Brian Cobb can knock you out, but he prefers the ground game, having many wins by way of submission. Can he take it to the ground, though? Because Gaethje is undefeated and a great wrestler. Two men that are excellent athletes. Cobb's record 23 and 7. Gaethje undefeated at 8 and 0. Oh, and only one fight has gone the distance. And he says he is prepared to grapple with Cobb if that's what it takes to get the win. I've wrestled my whole life, so you know something. You know, if someone's gonna try to take me. I know he's gonna try to take me down. So you know, that's you know, that's gonna play my to my advantage because you know, there's only uh, one thing I think that he can do. You know, I'm not too worried about stand up. So you know, I'm really gonna look for him to take shots and just you know, keep the pressure after he takes bad shots. Chuck Liddell became the most known fighter on the planet with a fighting style like Gaethje has great wrestling with knockout power. Gaethje versus Cobb, the tale of the tape, brought to you by Boost Mobile, be heard. 24-year-old Justin Gaethje taking on 32-year-old Brian Cobb. 5'11 for both men and a one-pound weight advantage for Justin Gaethje. As we take a look at the rules of combat here at the World Series of Fighting, it is a 10-point must system. Three judges score the fight based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and of course, cage control. No kicks or knees to the head of a grounded opponent. And with that, we send it inside the cage, the voice of the World Series of Fighting, Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, the joint is rocking inside the beautiful Hard Rock Hotel and Casino for this battle of the lightweights scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the blue corner, this wrestling standout has great submission skills. His professional record, 23 wins, 7 losses, 12 submissions in his victory count. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, he weighed in at an even 155 pounds. Training at Team Pain and Suffering, he's here tonight from Bakersfield, California. Please welcome Brian the Bandit Cobb. And now here is his opponent fighting from the red side of the cage, an all-American wrestler with heavy hands, undefeated as an amateur, perfect as a pro. His record, eight wins, no losses, six of those wins by knockout. At five feet, 11 inches tall, he weighed in at an even 156 pounds. Training at Grudge Training Center, fighting out of Safford, Arizona, by way of Denver, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin, And your referee for this contest, Steve Mazagati. So here we go, three rounds of fighting in the lightweight division. Justin Gaethje taking on the bandit, Brian Cobb. Here we go. This is a tough one, boss, because Cobb is dangerous, but Gaethje, we saw him in Atlantic City. This kid is explosive. Great wrestling, like I said, a knockout power training with Trevor Whitman, who's a phenomenal boxing coach, striking coach. And, uh, well, he put it to work. Already knocked out six people. Brian Cobb with 30 professional fights, gets to the ground quickly on Gaethje. Gaethje is looking right, look for that reversal, how That's easy beautiful. he did that. That is all core strength and technique. Knee to the thigh. I love it when people do that. Not many fighters do it. So effective. You know, also to the thigh, it's very effective. Looking here for a side choke from the bottom. 
Brian Cobb is, it's going to be hard if he can't reverse him. Gagey has to watch out. He cannot lean on his right elbow now because then he's going to get reversed. If he just stays like this, nothing goes on. If he can look up a little bit, you know, to open up the the, 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 right. the veins a little bit more, that would be good. Right now, Cobb locked on to Gagey, the former Pac-10 wrestler, and Steve Mazzagatti looks like he may be getting tired of this. If I was Cobb, I would push off on his right leg, explode as hard as you can, try to push him off to the other side. I actually beat a Japanese guy like this. Very nice and yep. calm. Gagey stayed in there, and he's out. That's the impressive thing about Justin Gagey. Just eight professional fights, but his composure inside, and now he's got Cobb in trouble. Look at that. Heavy, power. heavy hammer fist. Oh. He just keeps coming, doesn't he? Yeah, he keeps coming. He's throwing out a lot of power, though. Not many times he went into the third round. And Cobb did. No worse for the wear for Brian Cobb. That's why I always say don't throw single kicks. You're either going to get counter or taken down. Both men guarding for the knee. Very simple. Strike kick. Yeah, that's that here you can tell you know he's still young. Yep. Because he takes these crazy risks that you don't need to take. Like jumping like that, what was that really gonna do? It makes some great highlights, but when it goes yeah. bad, it goes bad quick. That's it. He's on his back now against a submission specialist. Brian Cobb, 23 and 7, 12 of those victories coming by way of submission. As we said, wrestled out of Cal State, Bakersfield, very experienced. Expect a reversal very soon here. There we go already. Then he get it. He's got to watch out though. Look at this. Cobb Thanks, right away. Well, he's got it. He's defending the rear naked choke. But now he's getting hit and he's got some power on his strikes. Boy, look at Cobb's got the legs locked up too. Yeah, very nice. Stretches him out. Gage is just sitting up. He needs to, oh, no, no, he can't anymore because, he, well, he still can't. He needs to stretch his right leg. That will unhook that hook. Show off his strength here as Gagey get ready for the slam. Yeah, but he's got Darren to say it. He there comes the boom. He needs to, oh, but he's got to watch. Here comes the boom. Thank you, Chi Chi. You got that. Look at the body triangle he's got on there. We talked to him about Cobb, of course, the bandit on top. Great control. Eight-year difference between these men. Brian Cobb at 32, Justin Gaethje coming out of Safford, Arizona at 24. And I think you made a good point earlier on as we approach minute 20 to go in round one. The inexperience and the youth of Justin Gaethje. A little flamboyant possibly when he didn't need to be. Too much, too excited. You know, and too excited means you're throwing out a lot of power for nothing. And uh, that is something you can't do in MMA. Five minute rounds are long rounds. You're using constantly core. That means, you know, you're, you're pumping lactic acid in the core that stops your lungs from breathing, filling them up completely. So what that comes, we are going to be naked choke with him, and he might be under it. No, he's not. Connell's got him locked up in that midsection. Look at that. Yeah. He needs to do something. He's got that body lock on there. It's very hard. <laughs> no, he can't keep sitting here because those kidney shots there eventually he's actually creating room now to strike with more power. Working the head, then the midsection. Now he goes back out to try to stretch him out. Under 30 seconds to go. Brian Cobb trying to make the most of this position. Yeah, round one is definitely going to a Brian Cobb, you mean? Uh, to Brian Cobb. Uh, if he, if he, Brian Cobb can, uh, Gagey can defend this now. I bet you when he comes out, the round number two, yeah. he's going to be very careful. Strike with precision. And we will go to a second round here in Las Vegas. You're watching the World Series of Fighting Three. Welcome back to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino inside the joint alongside Boss Rutten. Todd Harris here as we go to the second round in the lightweight division. Justin Gaethje and Brian Cobb. And I think for most casual observers, you would have to give that first round to the bandit, Brian Cobb, controlling the fight and doing some serious damage to Justin Gaethje. Yeah, I think the former Trevor Redman called Gaethje, no more kicking, buddy. Because every time you kick, you lose balance, you fall on the ground. You give him the takedown. And here he kicks again. He has to watch out. No high kicks, I would say. So we'll see how Justin Gaethje reacts after 
taking a lot of punishment in round number one. This one's scheduled for three rounds in the lightweight division. Up is constantly keeping him away. Nice jab there. Hit him on the bottom of the chin. Did a great job with it. And again, double jab constantly. The whole distance of Gaethje is off, it looks like. Brian Cobb, not necessarily flashy, but he does enough to frustrate his opponent, and that's what he's done. Now, Gaethje comes forward with a nice combination. Yeah, and again, Brian Cobb comes up and right back. back. Yeah. You know, if Gaethje doesn't do anything with it, he's got him up against the fence, but then he stops. Remember, you know, this is, this is useless, what he's doing right now. He's not going to get a guy like Brian Cobb with that. Remember, Justin Gaethje coming into this fight, a perfect 8-0. Sets a little bit of frustration in his game plan from what we saw in Atlantic City back at World Series of Fighting 2. Yo, I guarantee you that. Because round number one was in a not so good run for him. You know, and it might demoralize him if he's never been in that situation. Yeah. Just walked over everybody, you know, it takes a little bit away from him. You see, he's covering up in weird places. It's almost like he's a little bit shy there, also. Gaethje gets a little momentum. Brian Cobb seems to have some kind of answer for him. It's a combination or locking him up against the cage, which he's doing right now. It's not there. People talking about it, they're saying, you know, yeah, but is it effective? I've never seen a fight ending the yeah. way of foot stuff. It's not like you break your bones, because apparently that's very hard to do. You know, and this is what Cobb wants. That's what Gaethje needs to do. He needs to keep him like outside of his punches. And don't go for a clinch. Here's the power he has. He's got to this the whole time. Knocked out. And again, he was double jamming and that worked really well. So he has a couple of here. See so he gets out the clinch, just pushes Gaethje off. Too much for the home run knockout? I think it is. You know, everything is single shots. That's what throw combinations. It's a pretty short work with Trevor Whitman. Yeah. He can't you combinations. Back hand up. The heavy hands, heavy hands of Justin Gaethje. And Brock Cobb having to slow this one down. And just, now he comes in with a shot. Nothing happening there, so he backs out. About a minute to go here in round number two. This one's scheduled for three in Las Vegas, Nevada, here at the World Series of Fighting. Brian Cobb slowing the pace down here as Justin Gaethje is throwing everything at him with one more round still to come. He's not quick right now, Gaethje. Everything is a little sluggish. Yeah, he tries to get a little bit of homework back on. The single shots, they avoid him, they can close the distance, and then he's clinch again. See, every time a big shot, big aim. Under 30 seconds to go here in round number two. Nice, right up the right hook. That's actually how he won a tie boxing match. <laughs> Cobb is methodical. Gaethje keeps coming forward. Nice. That's a good low kick. He's got some good power, though. Final 10 seconds. That's the thing with Gage, he knows he's got so much power and he's relying on it. We will go to the third and final round when we return.
Bantam lightweight division, third and final round. Justin Gaethje and Brian Cobb. And Cobb comes out, round number three, Bob's rooting just like he did in round number two, controlling the pace, short, quick jabs. That's it. He did a great job. Steve Mazzagani can give up to five minutes to Brian Cobb to regroup. Justin Gaethje didn't like it, didn't think it was a, a low kick. Well, Cobb, Cobb is not that guy, I guarantee you it's a low one. Move. Oh, yeah, that was right. Split yeah. the uprights. Yep. So again, after five minutes, Steve Mazzagati can give Brian Cobb. There's the shot again. Yeah. Yeah. I think in golf they call that dead solid perfect. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, he will have a little lump on his foot tomorrow if uh, Cobb is wearing a steel cup. All right. I think whoever's going to win this round is going to win the fight. This round is the determining factor. Two rounds to Cobb, do you think, so far? I think, no, no, no. I think round number two probably was for Gage because he started, uh, you know, he hit the power shots and yep. they were connecting a bunch. Yep. And the low kicks were very effective. But Cobb's got the first round, for sure. And very dominating, maybe even with 10-8, I don't know about that. Justin Gaethje, though, is the type of fighter that he's got enough power in that right. If he loads up and connects, you're going down. Mac Pete comes out, Gaethje throws it right back in. Yeah. Doesn't matter that people with bare feet walk there. Another low kick. Set it up. Throw big left, good right low kick. Dang, dang. Right now, doing a great job of just keeping Gaethje out of rhythm. He needs to keep coming forward. Non stop. That's the only thing you stop a striker from striking is pushing him backwards. Left hand up. Body shot from Gaethje. Yeah, that was, it was angry with it a little bit, but it went through so many clutches, I think. Nice jab there again. No good low kicks. Those low kicks are hard yeah. because you don't hit them. That means it's full shin again. Needs to time something, needs to take down. If you can secure a takedown and do as much damage as you did in round number one. But Brian Cobb is not the kind of fighter that's just gonna say, hey, I think I got a round, maybe two rounds, I'm gonna play defensive. He's still coming forward, he's still scoring points. Oh yeah, yeah. No, for sure. He needs to. Just making sure. Nice uppercut from Gaethje. You see, but if he went to a combination with any of the two, that would have been much better. Under two minutes to go. You see and that's Mark Lippitz taking the toll on the left leg of Brian Cobb. And that's why he's not going for the high for the dead guns anymore. And now he's got to keep checking him and he can't go anywhere. He's saying that's it. That is Beautiful it. Beautiful Well done there. Look at this. Why not? A contra. Running for making a back side, some side. It wasn't the heavy hands of Justin Gaethje, but the kicks that did Brian Cobb in. He literally could not put any more weight on that left leg. Man, if this guy starts putting combinations together, oh my. Oy, oy, oy. let's look at it one more time. Dark oh. yeah. uh, he, look at this, he cannot even put his leg down. Now watch when he ends with the left hook. One and out, ball. Oh, 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 oh yes. Yeah. And a little insult to injury as Brian Cobb, who looked to be in control of this fight, goes down by way of the kick. Steve Mazzagatti has to respect the timeout call. And it's Justin Gaethje who will run his record to a perfect 9-0 in stunning fashion. We'll be back to talk to our winner, and we will see the man and how he got it done when we come back. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes and 19 seconds of that third and final round when referee Steve Mazzagatti steps in to wave this one off. Your winner and still undefeated, Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, you survived an early scare. You put him away with some devastating leg kicks. What are your thoughts on your performance?
You know, I, I knew Brian was going to be an excellent wrestler. I knew he was an excellent wrestler. You know, I uh, get in a bad position, you know, I just got to stay with myself, uh, dig deep, and get through those positions. Speaking of bad position, he certainly had you one. He had your back. He was working on a choke. What was going through your mind? You know, just stay calm, breathe. You know, he had that arm triangle, too, before that, you know, and he, like I said, he was a tough guy right there. It's a stacked lightweight division. You got fighters like J.C. Cavalcanti, Tyson Griffin, Nick Knoll. Who would you like to fight next? Uh, the best, man. I want to fight the best. Only the best for you. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, 